Welcome. I'm Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on weird and true mysterious stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Case file number 839, written by Diablix. Me and my friend lost three hours. Some backstory before starting. This occurred in the summer of 2012. I've only experienced missing time incidents a few times, but will only share the story of the first time because that's the only one that had corroborating witnesses, so I could be absolutely certain of all the bizarre details. So, this friend, who we'll call Geo, would occasionally make what we jokingly called our game night Walmart runs. Basically, on some weekends, when some of our schedules lined up right, we'd be able to play video games late into the night like old times. We'd sometimes have to take a brief intermission to go get coffee, snacks, and energy drinks. These runs would typically occur around 2 or 3 a.m., and the reason we chose Walmart was because it was a Walmart that was only three-fourths of a mile away. On this particular summer night in 2012, energy drinks were the only things we were running low on, and so we figured we'd take a break a little early at 12.47 a.m. to go get just the energy drinks and head back. If you're thinking it's oddly specific that I remember exactly 12.47 a.m., we'll get back to that later. Gio and I volunteered to be the ones to head out for the drinks, and we hop in my car and drive straight to the Walmart. No red lights along the way. We head straight inside and spend only about 2-3 to three minutes in the store. Wanting to get back to our gaming night, we rushed to grab only what we needed and headed to self-checkout. We drove straight home and arrived at our other friends, seeming much more tired and exhausted than when we had left, and they asked what took so long. We thought they were joking and gave a smart-ass response of how long a drive it was. They seemed confused and demanded a more serious answer. That's when we got confused ourselves and asked what they were talking about. They showed us the clock and we couldn't believe it. It was 4.30 a.m. We also checked the time on our phones to confirm this. Yep, 4.30 a.m. At this point, we started telling them everything, how we rushed straight there, went through the store quickly, and came straight back. They obviously weren't buying it. It's at this point we started double-checking to make sure we had our timeline right. They had sent us a text with a list of each of their preferred energy drinks, so we double-checked the time on that since they sent it seconds after we'd walked out the door. Yep, 12.47 a.m. Gio and I have discussed this incident a few times, trying to make sense of what happened. Ultimately, we've never been able to come up with any answers that make sense. As far as the friends we were hanging out with that night, I'm unsure if they believed us or not, that we really did go straight there and come straight back. It still makes me a little uneasy trying to untangle the confusion of what could have possibly happened that night. While neither Gio or I have any clue what happened that night, all we can seemingly agree on is that something odd must have happened that neither of us can remember. I remember the events as continuous, and I've confirmed with Gio that he does too. It's not the typical, we head there, get the drinks, and then there's a break in the memory, and then we head back. It's just a continuous sequence of events of driving there, rushing through the store to get the drinks to get back to our game night ASAP, and heading straight home. Case notes for file 839. My friend and I lost three hours. This is most peculiar given the way you frame this is that there was no gap in your memory. There was no black spot, a spot that just didn't exist. It was a continuous sequence of events, and yet three hours passed that shouldn't have. I'm thinking like when I edit footage for these videos, there's always these gaps where if I don't use a fade or a dither dissolve or something, There'll be a jump cut where you can feel it. You know something happened there that isn't quite spliced correctly. You can feel it in your bones. And the same thing in our memories, or similar, where if something is not quite right, we know it. And so in, in this case, whatever altered your memory was seamless. And if it isn't a memory alteration, because in the events where there's time anomalies, there's also spatial anomalies usually, and you certainly would notice if time was decelerating around you, and you're still driving, like even in the branches moving in trees and the wind and all that. So I'm thinking this is actually probably an alien abduction, where the memory splice that they do was seamless, no errors this time. Maybe aliens are indeed abducting a lot of people, and we just aren't quite aware of it because the memory alterations usually are seamless. It's only in the cases where they're not that we hear about it. Case file number 840. 
Written by Anonymous, Multiversal Showerhead. I was taking a shower and I couldn't switch the showerhead to jet mode, which I have enjoyed for having some naughty time in the shower all the 4 plus years we have been in this apartment. Called in my partner thinking I couldn't get a hold of it covered in bubbles and slippery bath products, and he told me he doesn't think our showerhead has such a mode. I insisted it does, and I told him I've been using it for quite a while, and that he knows it. I'm quite open to discussing alternative preferences and things, and I'm also quite certain I use the jet mode to clean inside the tub quickly at times. So I insisted if he could just switch it from that particular part of the head, it would turn on. He tried and tried, and I rinsed and I looked and I looked, and no, our shower head doesn't have a jet mode now. Asked him if he changed the head, he said no. Head doesn't look new at all either. He remembers me saying quite a lot of times that I had a fun time in the shower, but he has no recollection of it being over the jet mode of the shower head. I, on the other hand, am pretty sure I use a jet mode in this and that way many times, as it is one of my favorite ways to, um, you know. Also to rinse out bleach and other chemicals from the corners that are harder to reach while cleaning. I don't understand, most showers in my life I enjoyed this lovely stream of single jet water and now it's gone. Case notes for file 840, The Multiversal Showerhead. Welcome to your new universe, one where sadly you don't have jet mode on your showerhead. I guess you have to pay extra for that in the server lobby. Hmm, wonder what the currency is in the real world. Creepy file number 65, written by Unaffiliated rumble in the neighborhood. About every month or so, my entire house shakes. It sounds like a large tree falling in the yard or the reverberation of an explosion. It lasts about two seconds and then it's gone. Every time it happens I go outside to see if I can get an explanation, but nothing is out of the ordinary. Yet I also see several neighbors down the street coming out of their houses and looking up and around like they also heard it. This is in South Durham, North Carolina. We are near an airport, but planes flying by sound completely different, and there are no military bases nearby. I really have no idea what it could be. It's very creepy. Does anyone have a clue what this could be? I thought I should provide a small update. As far as I can tell, the closest quarry is about 12 miles east from me. There is another quarry about 18 miles to the west, and about 20 miles to the north is an iron mine. I don't believe I would be able to hear blasts from either of those distances. I am on the direct outskirts of Durham. To the north is civilization, and to the south is a large section of forest. If I were to guess, the sound originates to the south. They are clearing some of the forest next to the highway, southeast from me, to make room for housing, but I can't imagine they would need explosives for that. Durham is over a natural gas formation, the durham Sandford Subbasin, but as far as I know, they haven't started fracking here. I could be wrong. Case notes for the creepy file number 65. Rumble in the neighborhood. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of the hum, where there's a noise that some people can hear, a low deep rumble, sort of, and yet other people in the same area can't hear it. They've even had people try to measure it and they can detect a signal, but they don't know where it's from. They can't pinpoint a source or a cause. It's probably one of the most well-recognized anomalies. Maybe one day we'll discover what the cause is, I hope so. That's the end of my notes for today. Enjoy your evening, folks. Kinetic Symphony, signing off.